Hey everyone, it's Tutor Brian. The topic of this video is adaptability versus persistence. And the video clips are of the last squat workout, which included front squats, stiff leg deadlifts, and hip thrusts as the accessory movements. In this workout, I'm using a pyramid style rep scheme of 5, 3, 2, two and two reps in that order and the weights and reps are shown on screen. On to the topic of the video, adapt adaptability versus persistence. One is the ability of the body or and or mind to adjust to any sort of imposed demand upon it. And the other is something I like to think about as the point in between consistency and stubbornness. One is kind of good, the other is not so good. And persistence is kind of like right in between. You can persist in something in a positive way or you can persist in something in a negative way. With the subject of adaptability, it can be surprising and sometimes awe-inspiring how capable the human body is of adapting, of changing, adjusting to the situation to meet any sort of I guess physical stress or mental stress or challenge presented to it and the example I'm using is about myself and the learning of the front squats as it's changed throughout my training and in the beginning with front squats I really didn't consider using that in conjunction with the back squats. The first time I tried it with just the barbell, it was uncomfortable and borderline painful holding the weight up. But eventually I saw the benefits of it and chose to give it a shot again and then consistently practice the technique and build up a motor pattern in my muscle memory for that movement. And it worked out well because I was able to increase the weight I could do on front squats. Granted, the initial learning of the front squats for me included using the arms crossed position. So basically the weight is laying on the shoulders and then the arms are folded over them like an X shape. And that's how I learned in the beginning. However, eventually over time I wanted to give the true front rack position like the textbook way a try. So. I believed in the ability of my of my body to adapt to the situation even though several times I gave it a shot and it was sometimes painful at the wrist joints and maybe the elbow or the shoulders because that front rack position it, it can be kind of tricky if you don't um, master the technique first or find what works best for you so it took some time getting used to and even though the the first few times were kind of painful I could have persisted in doing it the old way and not giving a new um, way a try and not opening myself up to the opportunities and possibilities that were on the table. But I, I, I gave it a shot and I chose to have faith in the adaptability of the, uh, of the body to learn in that front rack position. And over time I discovered that I didn't have to, you know, put my wrists in a compromised position just to do that front rack position. I could rely on the external rotation of the shoulders and flexibility in the elbows and shoulder joints to compensate where my wrist may have um, been a weak point. And now I'm starting to get the front rack position and that now that I, instead of persisting with doing it the old way, the, the only way I knew how, I chose to open up to a new style and it worked out well 
And I feel like this was the last piece of the puzzle to complete my lifting repertoire with all the different movements I'm able to perform now. And it, my technique and form is something that I like to hang my hat on, even though I may not be able to lift jaw-dropping numbers. Having good technique is something that I like to be able to consistently, consistently try to master each and every workout. And so adaptability is positive when you give things a try that may have been foreign or new in the beginning and open yourself up to all the possibilities that are out there instead of persisting with and being borderline stubborn with the old way or the way that you had known for the longest and that you're comfortable and used to. And that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope the information was informative and maybe educational. Thanks for watching.